It is great pleasure to share my experience of smart water management of South Korea. I'm Ho Young Kim, working for the K-Water at the Water Palace Research Center. K-Water is a specialized public corporation in Korea, managing multi-purpose dams, water distribution facilities, renewable water energies, and many other facilities related to water management. Recently, K-Water has launched the Smart Water Management Platform in water services, thereby improving efficiency in the operation of water infrastructures and valuing water resources. Today, we are facing water scarcity due to exploding population and climate change. Also, water scarcity is worsening and it is not just Battle of South Korea. I hope K-Water's experience in smart water management will help address the water shortages in your countries. This video presentation consists of background and introduction of smart water management, case study, and implication and recommendations for Latin American countries. South Korea is not in a favorable situation for water management. Average annual rainfall in South Korea is 1,274 millimeters in 2014. It is 1.6 times the world annual average. However, due to high population density, the average annual rainfall per capita is only 2,660 meters cubed, which is approximately 17% of the world average. South Korea's climate shows both seasonal and regional variations in water availability. Two-thirds of it falls during a distinct rainy period between June to September, and this period is often accompanied by frequent flash floods. Winter precipitation, on the other hand, is less than 10%. South Korea has frequently experienced damages intensifying climate volatility, such as frequent floods and droughts, which has worsened due to climate change. Heaviest recorded rainfall in 2011 was followed by the worst drought of the century in 2012. The extreme drought from 2013 to 2015 caused water supply restrictions in eight municipalities, including Seosan City, which will be discussed in detail as today's case study. South Korea's water policy has seen variations along with the country's economic growth. After the Korean War in 1950, more than 70% of the infrastructure was destroyed. In the 1960s, the Korean government started a five-year economic development plan with focusing on national resources for economic growth. In the 1970s through 80s, water-related policies were focused on supply augmentation that could support economic growth and meet increasing water demand in cities. Many multi-purpose dams were built to provide industrial water, tap water for the population, and generate electric power. However, the water quantity augmentation policy caused many adverse side effects and particularly severe problems in water quality. Industrial waste and sewage polluted rivers and destroyed the ecosystem. During the 1990s, important changes in water policy had taken place driven by the increasing environmental crises. In response, the government launched plans for water quality restoration, including the establishment of wastewater treatment plans. In the 2000s, due to ever-increasing national demand for improved water quality and environment, the paradigm of water management policy was shifted from supply-oriented quantitative development to demand-oriented water management. The government strengthened the policy trend by implementing the concept of IWRM, which is Integrated Water Resources Management as the official water management policy. Moreover, in 2009, the new concept of water management, smart water management, was introduced in Korea to cope with the needs of a more advanced water management system. The concept of SWM is characterized by the use of Information and Communication Technology ICT, to provide automated water data in real time and allow for more effective, efficient operation of water infrastructures. SWM can bring water supply efficiency by optimal utilization system, 
and advanced flood and drought control as well. Customer-oriented service, based on analysis of consumption patterns, improves supply process appropriately. Moreover, SWM is capable of identifying leakage incidents quickly. Real-time analysis of information collected from smart devices shows where water leakage is. Smart water management is composed of three aspects. One, smart devices. Two, smart solutions. Three, smart services. SWM process consists of three steps, data collection, data communication, and data analysis. Smart water management can be adopted in stages, from minor adjustments of a system to a whole new suite of tools, changing the way we control challenges in water management. Therefore, technologies are developed and adopted at varying speeds in different ways, based on knowledge, capacity, funding, and many other existing factors. Not all smart tools require extensive physical infrastructure to implement smart water management because SWM is not just a singular technique, but a platform that can offer customized solutions to varying situations. Let's look at a more concrete case study, the pilot project implemented in Seosan City in 2016. The project aimed to improve leak detection through smart meters and real-time monitoring system. The project lasted six months, four of which were allocated for installing devices and monitoring systems, and the remaining two were for pilot operation and revenue water ratio improvement. The project was implemented due to a severe drought. Total inflow rate into the dam, which was a main water source for the area, was just 43% of the average year. And from July to September 2015, the inflow rate was only 25% of the annual average. It was the worst drought in two centuries. Moreover, the total revenue water of the project area was 67%. That means 33% was lost in the pipes. However, due to the geographical characteristics with wide supply area of 54 square kilometers and a low population density of the area, leakage detection and prevention were very challenging. In order to address the challenges of drought and leakage, smart water management was adopted to reduce leakage in the aged pipes as soon as possible. Water resources were secured thanks to the leakage reduction. Smart metering system transmits the collected data from a smart device and displays the data on a user-friendly display in the monitoring center. In order to find leakage points easily and investigate abnormal data, the two existing district metering areas, TMA, are subdivided to nine units, sub-DMAs. This narrowed down the need to monitor suspected leakage points from entire areas to a single line, thereby improving leakage detection and repairs faster. Traditionally, DMA is made by physical construction of worker works grid. However, with smart meters, DMA can be easily built without relocation of underground water works. Before launching the smart water management, water management operators had to search whole areas to locate the leakage points. However, the system showed accurate leakage points effectively with less effort and time consumption. Moreover, through use pattern analysis of the smart monitoring system, smart water management helps improve the optimal water pressure management in aged pipes. Among the SDMAs, leakage detection technology found three of the divided SDMAs. A2, A5, and A6 were identified as problematic in Seosan City, and these were restored quickly. This project was implemented with investment from Seosan City and Central Government's Drought Budget Package. If the leakage control project in Seosan City was regarded only as a means to improving efficiency, it may have been more difficult to raise funds for a more comprehensive approach. However, in addition to operational improvements, drought adaptation was another strong reason for the Seosan SWM project, which made it different from previous procurement of conventional leakage control projects.
in order to make smart water management projects successful, several factors must be considered when introducing it. Therefore, it is crucial that smart water management should be pursued for the public interest within the scope of IWRM and sustainable development. The success of the Seosan City project can be attributed to the cooperation among stakeholders with a clear purpose in mind. Also, technologies of smart water management can be viable tools to address water challenges involving leakage problems, not only for Korea, but also for all over the world. Leakage control using smart water management technology is not only cost-saving, but also secures water resources. It is much economic than building new water storage facilities like dams. Conventional leakage control projects focused on just cost reduction. Smart water management project, on the other hand, deals with water shortage adaptation as well. These new challenges are the backdrop of why smart water management needs to be expanded all over the world. Moreover, smart water management is not just single technique, but platform which is applicable to various situations. I am sure that smart water management can be implemented in the Latin Americas and Caribbean region. When combined with adequate smart technology, smart water management can be introduced in the region, customized to the needs of each country at an affordable cost. Thank you for listening to my presentation.